Hey everybody, Negro VMX here, and just two days ago, I went and saw the new movie Clash of the Titans, starring Sam Worthington and Liam Neeson. This is a remake of the movie of the same name, which came out in the early 80s. The early 80s movie, Clash of the Titans, is one of my favorites. I saw it as I was a kid, and I saw it many times since then, and every time I see it, I like it just a little bit more. To say that I was excited about the remake is putting it mildly. I was very excited about the remake, which is why I went to see it on opening day. Well, after seeing it, letting it sink in, and two days later, here's my opinion. It fucking sucked. Seriously, this was fucking assy. I couldn't believe how bad it was. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm saying it's bad, and maybe you're thinking that I'm just going to bash on it for being a remake, but that's not true. I got no problems with remakes. I go to see them all the time. I don't have a hard time with them making remakes. I'm not one of those douchebags that sits around like, Ugh, Hollywood makes too many fucking remakes. Why don't they have any original ideas? Ugh, they're raping my childhood. Ugh, I'm an idiot. No, I don't do that. I got no problems with remakes, and sometimes when they're remaking a movie, I get excited about it. Because it's a movie, especially when it's a movie that I liked. Like Clash of the Titans, you get to see a fresh new take on it. You get to see it with better special effects, and still basically the same story. But I gotta say, this version sucked. Balls. It was the dog's balls. I can not I can go on, like, forever just coming up with different phrases to say, like, you know, how assy it was and whatnot. But let me tell you a little bit about why I didn't like it. First off, the whole thing just looks really drab. And this is surprising because of the modern special effects and visuals. You'd expect it to look wonderful. But honestly, I thought the original version with its stop motion and, and whatnot, the uh, practical effects, was a lot more attractive to look like. Um, I'm not one of those anti-CGI nuts. I got no problem with computer-generated graphics. I got no problem with that in movies. I think it's great. But in this case, artistically, I gotta say I didn't like it very much. Everything looked like it was all one color. Everything was brown. It, it, it was like a like a PlayStation 3 game. It, it, it was like Call of Duty, you know. It was just brown as far as the eye can see. Just drab and lifeless. The acting was pretty much the same way. I, Sam Worthington was supposed to be this guy who was all tortured because he lost his family and everything. But the whole time, he, he didn't really seem all that upset. He just was trying to do this whole brooding thing, and it didn't come off very well at all. I don't know. He's a pretty good actor, but I couldn't really get into his character. The gods? Well, I mean, in the original version, they were kind of arrogant, and they were kind of the antagonists, but they weren't really bad guys. Like, they weren't really evil. They were kind of majestic, and they kind of felt that they were above everything, specifically humans, which is what made you want to side with the humans. But in this, they just come off as assholes. Liam Neeson does a good job playing Zeus, but he's barely in the movie. And he's the god you pretty much see the most. Well, actually, I think you see Hades more. Ray Fiennes plays Hades. He's probably the best part of the movie. But he's still barely in it. And, I mean, the three main gods, Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon. Well, first of all, Poseidon's barely in it. I think you see him once. I don't think he has a single line. As a matter of fact, other than Zeus and Hades, I think the only god that actually has a line was Apollo. The only reason that I knew that that was Apollo is because the next line was Zeus saying, No, Apollo! Uh, uh, uh. So I got really bored with the gods very quickly. They didn't really do anything spectacular. Um, there were a lot of scenes that was, I was expecting to see uh, done with a twist like uh, Athena, the statue of Athena's head talking, but they didn't do that. Instead, they just had Hades come down and, and talk to people, and, and it wasn't as cool. I mean, it wasn't like a statue talking with a creepy voice. It was just, you know, Lord Voldemort. It, it really wasn't that good at all. Um, I mean, the, the three gods, I mean, they, they just seemed so much more evil. Like, Zeus comes off as, like, a deadbeat dad, and, and Poseidon is, like, a rapist. And Hades is just pure evil. And, I mean, you kind of expect that from him because it's Hades and he's the lord of the underworld. But at the same time, you can't really blame him because he was tricked by Zeus into ruling the underworld. So he's kind of bitter about that. But he just comes off as way more evil than I would have liked. Perseus was, like I said, he was just boring. Um, he supposedly hates the gods 
uh, but mostly he seems to just hate Hades because uh, as Hades was attacking some people for destroying a statue of Zeus, they accidentally he accidentally killed his family, and uh, I don't know. It it just was really 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 boring. There's only really one reference to the original. Uh, of course, I'm talking about the mechanical owl, uh, Boo Boo. Um, he wasn't actually in it, but they had a mechanical owl that looked kind of like him. And it was kind of like Perseus just, when they're going to leave Argus, he just holds it up and he's like, what the hell is this? And he shouldn't say what the hell, because it doesn't fit in with the whole ancient Greek thing. I mean, they didn't say hell. That that didn't that word didn't exist then. So, I mean, obviously they wouldn't be speaking English either, but at least try and make it seem somewhat like it's in ancient Greece. Um, and so he's like, what the hell is this? And and then, you know, the other guy's like, leave that. And he just kind of tosses it aside. So, yeah. Uh, the action was really, really lame. I, I they, they went all 300 on it with the crazy camera angles and the the slow motion and the stopping and everything. And why can't I have, like, a normal fucking, you know, sword fight? Everybody's got to be doing flips and shit like they're Batman. I mean, I, I it kind of worked for 300. It doesn't really work for Clash of the Titans. Everything looks like a, like, like a Krav Maga um, e- exhibition, you know? Uh, what else? Um... One thing that I noticed was there was a there was a real dearth of female characters. The original movie had lots of uh, good female characters. In this, there really were none. I mean, there's Io, but she's really, you know, not in there as much as you'd like, and she's the only one. None of the female gods really show up. I mean, there's also Andromeda and uh, Cassiopeia. I don't think Cassiopeia even had any lines. She may have had, like, one line, but... To be honest, like the whole thing, the gods were boring, the humans were boring. Uh, probably the best part of the movie was the Medusa, but that was also the best part of the original movie, and I, I like the original one better. And the whole thing about the, the Aegis shield uh, was completely messed up. Instead of being given the shield to combat Medusa, Perseus is giving a different shield that's not reflective. And as he's fighting Medusa, he just kind of finds a shiny shield just laying around. And, oh, let me use this. So you, you get you get the idea that he really had no idea what he was doing going in there. And uh, it, it, it really suffers for that. Because if he got lucky more than anything. You really don't believe that he had any kind of skill or any kind of tactics there. It seemed to me that the whole movie was very rushed, and it was all building up to a big special effect that most of you already saw in the trailer. Of course, I'm talking about the Kraken. The Kraken was disappointing because everything is in the trailer already. Uh, If you saw the trailer, that's literally all the Kraken scenes except for the scene of him turning into stone. Which was, you know, it was a nice graphic, but it just took so long to happen because even the kraken rising up out of the depths it just takes so long like there's no poseidon standing there with a giant cage a kraken cage and you know he only gets let out once at the end and the kraken comes literally up out of the seabed and it's like tentacles coming out of the water and then a shot of argus you know falling apart and then more tentacles coming out of the water and then a shot of people running and screaming and then tentacles coming out of the water and a shot of perseus and then tentacles coming out of the water and then finally he comes up and it's 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 all you already saw it you already saw it in the trailer so this is one of those movies where the trailer it was better than the movie, mostly because it was shorter. So anyway, uh, that's my candid, unscripted review of Clash of the Titans, the 2010 version. Highly disappointing. If I was going to give it a rating out of 10, I would probably give it like a 3 or a 4. Um, probably a 3. It really was that bad, and I'm very disappointed because I was a big fan of the original and I had high hopes for this. So anyway, Necro VMX out. I got a GameCube collection update coming at you soon.